Let's talk about the transition to the right side. Yeah, I mean, it's it's basically just a flip-flop thing, you know? You do everything that you do on the left side, do it on the right, except everything's reversed. You know, it's it's not as hard as uh, people sometimes make it seem. Uh, you know, pretty transitions a transition is different, but for me, uh, you know, I feel it smoothly, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna give them all. Well, did you do anything special? Like, I, I, you look trimmer and, and, you know, like you added some bold. I mean, did you do anything to prep for this transition to be more versatile? Appreciate that. You're the first one that notices. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah, I, I did, uh, you know, up my training uh, a lot more intensity, a lot more conditioning, a lot more, you know, just did different things that I did in the past. You know, there was a famous saying by my college uh, strength coach that, you know, stuck with me all off season. Uh, you know, if you always do what you always did, you always get what you always got. So I did a lot of things differently this year, ate different, I worked out different. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, still training for football, still, you know, going out there, practicing my craft, just on the other side, and that's that's about it. Did you want to do that, or did somebody tell you to do that, or did you just look at the film and say, okay, I got to do something different? Oh, I mean, it's, it's I guess you could say it's both, you know. Um, uh, I, me, the coaches, other players, you know, my teammates, we all, you know, talked a little bit, you know, I hear everybody out, but at the end of the day, this is what I want to do, and that's where I want to be. Hi, Will. I'm so happy to see you. I'm Lulu Gomez from Univision 41, and you are Latino, Will, orgullosamente de raíces mexicanas. Y precisamente uno de los objetivos este año del equipo es hacer crecer a la audiencia latina, ya que pues somos muchos, más de tres millones en el área. ¿Cómo te sientes de representarnos como Latino usando la camiseta azul? No, pues es mucho, es mucho orgullo para mí y mi familia. Es algo que no tomamos muy, uh, no, nada más de así. Uh, es algo que yo cada vez que salgo a practicar, uh, yo llevo en mi mente y, y practico y, y hago todo lo que tengo que hacer con, con toda mi gente en mente. Gracias. Eres un orgullo. Muchas latino. gracias. Well, you, you mentioned that um, you know it's not that big of a. When's the last time you played on the right side? Um, I guess you could say high school. I played right guard all throughout high school. And um, I, I did get, you know, I switched out a little bit in, uh, in college as well. Kugler had me, you know, playing both sides also just in case. And so, I mean, I guess you could say I, I played right guard uh, all my life, just not as much, you know, recent, in my recent years. Um, did, 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 at any point in the spring or net, did you run out there and go to the left side, you know, by muscle memory? I, I don't. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I can transition left oh, or right. Just whenever. go. You're supposed to be on the right, and you went to the left by mistake. Oh no, no, that did that didn't happen. You know, once I, I get locked in at right, I'm right. Um, but I mean, yeah, I am ready just in case. Uh, you know, I ever get called back to the left, back to the right. That's the cool thing about you know playing both sides now. I can kind of transition a little bit easier. And uh, yeah. Can you talk about the benefit that you got from from the work you did with Duke Manyweather this off season? Yeah, uh, you know. The, I think one of the best things about working out there is that you're with a bunch of guys around the league. So you can learn a lot. You can also compete a lot. You know, you got guys that are there with the same goals, with the same intentions, working hard. So it kind of pushes you naturally, you know, instead of just working out by yourself, which I did, you know, my previous years. Uh, but no, yeah, the, the best part about it is the camaraderie and the competition that it builds because all, all the guys are there doing the same thing. Since Patty brought it up, can you tell us how much weight you lost? Um, <laughs> You know, I think uh, around like 20 pounds, something like that. So what are you now? I mean, it's it's very, it's it's not, you know, it's not too much, uh, let's not focus too much on the weight, you know, because I did, you know, lose body fat, gain muscle. And so all that comes into play. It's not just like a straight, you know, weight thing. But I mean, around there, 20 pounds. Or something. Well, considering what you... I'm sorry. Um, you went through a, a rough year last year between COVID. And I'm sure, I, I think I, I heard you had an injury that you were dealing with. So you had a lot of things going against you. What has that taught you about yourself, your resolve, and how are you applying those lessons to this year and just, you know, showing everybody that you are worthy of being out there? Well, you know what, there's sometimes there's things that happen to you that you just can't control. And that was one of them for me. You know, um, I didn't like it at all, obviously, but I had to deal with it. And, you know, all that, you know, time that I missed, you know, because of it, you know, has just taught me how much more important the time that I have now is. So now I, I, I try not to, you know, waste any reps, waste any uh, time, waste any, you know, I, I try to do everything even better than I did before. Uh, because I value that time a lot more because I had to sit out. Were you, you physically 100% coming back at, you know, after being on the COVID list? I mean, or were you still bothered? No, I mean, I, I, at, all, all, at all times I was ready to play. Uh, 
but you know there's just some things that you just can't tell whether you're good or bad until after the fact or till after you know time passes um, I couldn't give you really give you an answer on that but I mean I was always ready to go in and, and, and play if I need to for my team. What makes Leonard Williams so difficult to block? Uh, Leonard Williams uh, I would say you know he's just a uh, he has he has everything. Uh, he has the speed. He has the agility. He has the strength. You know he has the size, and you know for a guy his size, you know he moves very well. So I mean, when you put all those together, that's what makes him very dangerous. Well, well, given when the you restrictions, have all those, sorry, given the restrictions, uh, when you have all those things going on, the negativity and all that stuff that was going on, did you ever say why me, or did you have somebody kind of like keeping you from hitting, you know, the emotional rock bottom, so to speak? No, no, never that why me mentality. You know that victim mentality. Uh, I wasn't raised that way at all. Uh, you know, you deal with what's happening. You can't control it. You can't control it. Did I like it? No. But uh, it was never a, you know, oh, poor me, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, I always just, you know, said, you know what, when my time comes, I'm going to make sure I, I take advantage of it. And that's what I'm doing now. Well, so given the ability to practice in preseason, you know, I think it's going to be great competition. You know, like I kind of said in that, uh, with the with the Duke Manyweather training, you know, it kind of just brings out, you know, a little bit more out of everybody, and it gives you it gives you that competition, uh, and it naturally makes you just step up your game. So same concept, you know, we're going to step up uh, our game. You know, we're going to want to have good practices against them. We're going to want to win every day against every team. So naturally, it's just going to make us better as a team. With this being day one, your fresh start. As a unit, the offensive line, what's the mindset on improving, you know, with Daniel taking his next step, with adding weapons like Galladay? What is kind of the focus right now as you start off the season? Our focus right now is just to get better overall as a team. You know, let, I'm going to let those guys take care of their own positions and their own jobs, you know. But, uh, you know, starting with the offensive line, all we got to do is just block better, give those guys a chance, and, and those guys won't disappoint. Well, well, given the restrictions that are against the people that won't, don't have vaccinated, don't get vaccinated, um, is there more incentive this year than ever for to get vaccinated? You know, I, I'm the last person that, you know, it gets to talk about vaccination. You know, I, I, I decided to get mine. You know, I respect the decision of any of my teammates and any coaches that they, if they decide to get theirs or not, I'm nobody to judge. And we're just going to leave it at that. Well, we sure had spinning a little bit after last year. You, you got the virus, you came back, you, you lost your job. You're sitting there going, what happened to me? No, you know, that's one thing about me. You know, I've, I always had confidence in myself and I, and I know what I've always been able to do and what I can do. And I have the same mentality now. Now I just get the chance to actually show it, so which makes me really happy.